also today we're having a baptism of two children from the Likely family. Baptism is a sign. For us, we baptize children as a sign to remember that before we were ever born, God loves us and he knows us and he pours his grace upon us before we even know it. And that we are born in Christian families that will promise to raise us up in the love and nurture and admonition of the Lord is such an important thing. We baptize infants because in the Old Testament they circumcised infants and we carry that forward in the New Testament. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. And so we continue that tradition. Baptism is not just for this congregation, but it's for the church universal. Wherever these children will go, they will be baptized in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit wherever they go. And God's grace will go with them wherever they go. So this time I call for the likely family to come forward and as they present their children for baptism. And now we have some questions for the parents. Do you reaffirm your faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord? Do you? Yes. Wonderful. Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith, pray for your children's faith, and to teach that faith to your children? Do you? And now, some questions for y'all. Do you promise to pray for these children? And now, a question for the congregation. Do you, as members of the whole Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture Brooklyn and Tilly so that they may, in due time, confess the faith in Jesus Christ as their own Lord and Savior and may be strengthened in their ties to the household of God? Do you? We do. Let us pray. We give you thanks, eternal God, that you nourish, sustain, and cleanse living things by the gift of water. We thank you for the church of Jesus Christ and for the waters of baptism. We praise you that you have given us gracious promises concerning our children and that in mercy you call them to yourself, making them with this sacrament as a token and pledge of your love through Jesus Christ, our one Lord. Amen. I guess we'll take the oldest first. What is the Christian name of this child? Brooklyn. Yes, I know. You want to, you hold her. I'll baptize her. <laughs> I said that. Brooklyn Faith, likely child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. What's the Christian name of this child? Tilly Lane. Tilly Lane Likely, child of the covenant. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and I declare to you that Brooklyn and Tilly are now baptized members of this church, but also the church universal. I invite you to pray for them and to love them and get to know them now and over the years and pray for the likely family as they grow together as a family and grow with us in the Lord. So let us have a prayer. Lord, thank you for the gift of children, the gift of life. Thank you for your great love that shows itself to us in the lives of little children in the lives of family 
And we pray for Brooklyn and Tilly that they would indeed grow up to know and love and claim the promises that are made on their behalf when they grow up to know you. And we pray for the likely family that you would give them every grace, equip them with all the wisdom and the patience and the love they need to grow as a family in you. And together, Lord, may we glorify and honor you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you.